Hello and welcome to Wes Round 7 at Casa del Fels, Barcelona for the season finale of the UCI E-Mountain Bike Cross Country World Cup here in this magnificent venue for the fourth time. Well, the weather's perfect. Everyone chatting the return of David and Carlos Checa. The riders getting their bikes checked ahead of the start. Local rider, Guillaume Cassou is here. So is the Dutchman, Jerome Van Eck. And here's the two world champions, Schneider and Reef. We've got a star-studded lineup this time and the riders are preparing for the racing. Let's take a look at the track. It's been shortened this year. Some new technical features are added. 3.4 kilometers in length and the world champion's gonna take us around. Hi, I'm Natalie Schneider and we are here at the UCI e-mountain bike World Cup finals in Castel de Fels and I will take you on a lap now. Here's the statistics of Natalie Schneider. This is the start finish straight. Here we go up right after the start. It will be a fight elbows out. Super important to shift in the right gear before the climb starts. Difficult light conditions up here. Very steep. blind full concentration needed in this loose another drop and sprint to the finish line well, we got a real sensation there. Let's go to our e-bike focus. My name is Bas. I'm brand service officer for Bafang. I do all the service for the racing teams and uh, all the brands in Holland. Well, we got the M510. It's our best MTB motor. It's a uh, 95 Newton meters, 250 watts. It's a uh, lightweight, under three kilos. And its uh, performance is really high, really good and strong. Improvement from the last motor to this one, we made it out of magnesium. So the, the weight is reduced so much and uh, the low torque settings are also good. You can win the race with this engine. Now this is perfect for city bikes, MTBs, everything. It's lightweight, so really powerful even for the less strong people. Uh, the last version was made from aluminum and now we made the the improvement is that we made it out of magnesium now. The controller has been updated to better, uh, better sensors. Uh, the speed and torque sensor has improved. The low, the low torque settings are really high, so the low cadence also will increase power. Oh, the next one will even be more lighter, more stronger and uh, more reliable. That we finished the uh, pole position is uh, really great. And the uh, last uh, race in uh, Girona was even more better because we got podium place and uh, we are going to achieve uh, one, two and three this year. So I hope we will be the motor to beat. Fantastic to hear all about the motors. Qualification race time. Let's see how the riders get on. All focus required to make sure you set the fastest time. There's Tonzo, the World Cup winner, but the Raspini pole position goes to Sofia Wienroth for the women. The men's competition. Really clear, you've got to be quick through the turns and technically good. The speed as that bike just bounces around. The world champion, Angio, but the pole position, the Raspini pole position, from Kasu. Confirmation of those two. Let's hear from Kasu now. 
This race track was really, really, really like my type. It's uh, not really a hard track, but it's like a sneaky, like all the time turns, turns, and have you be, you have to be all the time like taking care of what's the next move, what's the next move, because it's really, really short turns and really, really up hills, like you don't see them. I really, really enjoy and much this this track. Let's now get to know a little bit more about the world champion Joris Reef. Here's his profile. Yeah, winning this jersey was a big goal for, yeah, I think three years since I started racing e-bikes. And yeah, that it, I could make it possible in Glasgow at the big world championships. It's a real dream coming through and it feels so good to finally achieve this goal. Yeah, after last year I changed to Specialize and it's such a cool collaboration. So, Sofia, we are the only racers who race like full-time e-bike for Specialize. And over the winter we developed a really good bike, a really good engine. And yeah, until the end we had the perfect support until World Champs. And I felt so good and confident with the bike I had and that was for sure a big part for this win. Yeah, so Jerome is a really good opponent for me. So I think over the last few years we pushed each other to the limit of e-bike racing. So not only we as riders, also the engines, the bikes. And I think at the moment um, all the races we battle together and some races are a little bit closer, some a little bit less. So that's also the important part about e-bike racing. So there are a lot of different tracks and I try to improve on my weaknesses and it's always cool to see Sherm racing and especially having a good and fair battle with him feels really good. I really like the e-bike cross country format. It's so cool, especially when you have really technical climbs and technical tracks. Also here in Barcelona, we have a lot of turns, some uphills where we need to manage like with the grip. And I think that's exactly the thing we need for e-bike racing. And also what's really cool, there is high speed. It's a short track, so we do a lot of laps. And in the end, it's a really exciting format. And you saw it also in Girona, so tight battles until the end. And that's what it makes for me the e-bike so special. Um, yeah, so I'm in a good shape. So I got also a new bike. So for sure, it's the goal to ride for the win. And first of all, there's the quali. Until then, it's focused for the race. And then, yeah, we will see. But I think the track suits me pretty well. We've really enjoyed the battle between the world champion Joris Reef and Jerome Gio this season. We're on to today's race. The riders on the start line getting set. There's our Raspini pole position, Guillaume Cassou. Can he translate that into a winning performance? For the women, Sophia Wiedenroth yet again in that pole position. There's the rundown of the top 10 after qualification. But as we know, it all comes down to how you perform in the race. And we're underway. Now this is a really powerful start here in Casa del Fels and it just shows how much power you need off that start line. The Fassi hole shot, Joris Reef, the world champion, and the women, Anna Spielman of High Bike. This is Jerome Gio in first place. The World Cup winner looking good. Reef in second, Mirko Tabaki in third place there. This is Jerome Van Eck in fourth. Oh, a lovely turn. Yom Kasu not quite translating the speed of his qualification into his position right now. Running P5 as Reef looks around. Wiedenroth looking good in first place for the women. So she does have the speed of this course. Anna Spielman though, right behind her, right on her tail. And here's Natalie Schneider, the world champion in third place. Schneider took us around the course. And the Magneti Morelli checks our power lap is Jerome Gio. He is flying his way along this particular circuit today. Oh, and a problem. Joris Reef, and he's got a broken chain. Guillaume Cassou taking advantage of that now. This is Geoffrey Kuel. Jerome Vanek dropping his way off those rocks. A little technical section. It just shows how good these riders are. Anna Spielman takes the Magneti Morelli check star power lap for the winner. But at the finish, Jerome Gio takes the final round of the UCI e-mountain bike World Cup this time. Mirko Tabaki in second place. Tabaki will be very, very pleased with that. And Guillaume Cassou 
but a qualifying fast finishes in third place. There's confirmation of the men's result. Jerome Gio, top of the leaderboard, no place for Joris Reef this time. And big celebrations, Anna Spielmann takes the victory here in Casa del Fels, Barcelona. Second place for the world champion, Natalie Schneider. And the German champion, Sophia Wiedenroth, takes third place this time. Confirmation of the result and the World Cup winner, Justine Tonzo, finishes fourth. Time then for our podium. And Anna Spielmann had to leave to catch a flight, so her chief mechanic receives her award. There's the Fassi hole shot to Joris Reef. And again, Jan Daniel Anus up there on the podium, enjoying his time on the podium today. The Magneti Morelli checks our power lap to Jerome Gio. There is our women's podium with a special guest. World Cup winner this time, Justine Tonzo. There's the standings at the end of a wonderful season. Jerome Gio, top step of the podium. And all celebrations as he takes the win in the World Cup ahead of Joris Reef. As it's the end of the 2023 season, time to reflect and to have our special award ceremony. Time to catch up with friends. Our Raspini pole position winners and our Fassi hole shot winners too. There's Justine Tonzo with the Magneti Morelli Checkstar Power Lap trophies. And time to present all the podium finishers and all the places. There's our World Cup winners, Tonzo and Gio. Top step of the podium for those two. All smiles will be back in 2024. And don't forget, 2024 pre-registrations are available at worldebikeseries.com. See you in 2024. Bye for now.